this is Kurt Gowdy Shark Hunting and today I'm going to do a video about a really hot topic right now bait casting reels versus spinning reels and uh, I know there's some guys out there that only use spinning reels and that's all they ever care about it's just spinning reels they say I'll never ever use a bait caster and that's mostly the older crowd guys 50 years old the really veteran casters like using spinning reels um, then there's also the new crowd, uh, such as um, people 30 years older. I know I know people that are 40 and 50 years old, of exception, that do use bait casters, and that's fine. It's just pretty much your personal preferences. For me, I don't care. I'll use them all. Um, so uh, let's get started. Uh, I'm first going to talk about this reel right here. This is a Daiwa Die Wave. This is my small spinning reel I own. I don't own any, really any small, small spinning reels. This thing's caught tons of bluefish and tons of bait. This is pretty much my bait reel on a seven foot Die Wave rod. I can't remember what uh, what it is actually, what model, because all the stuff has been scratched off of it after years of use. I've had it for about three years. Haven't ever had to grease it or anything. And this thing, honestly, farthest catch of this on a 7-foot rod with a 2-ounce Hopkins and 50-pound braid uh, was 100 yards. And I'm not joking, 100 yards. It was an extremely long cast because the Hopkins are extremely uh, aerodynamic and uh, it just cast a country mile. You do it fully rigged and bait and all that, and it will only cast a maximum of 50 yards. But uh, the thing is, these things are great for just small speckled trout, flounder, that kind of stuff, and pretty much bait fishing. Now on to the next one. We're going to do this one right here. This is the Shakespeare T20LD, and it's a lever, uh, a level wind system. It's got the star drag, and this holds 20, uh, 300 yards of 20-pound test good clicker. The reason I'm showing you this one, not because it's top of the line, because it's got a level wind on it. Guys like using lures on bait casting reels, they like them with level winds. It makes it a lot easier to fish, a lot easier to pay attention to what your lure is doing, because when you're reeling and you're reeling across trying to work the lure all at once and then the fish strikes, a lot of times you're not going to be ready for it unless you're really a professional and you really, for some reason, you can multitask. I don't even use bait casting reels on lures. I only use spinning reels on lures. Um, these guys, uh, the thing is is that a level wind will slow your casting by a lot. I do not prefer using level winds at all. Um, I usually prefer having no level wind at all. Just have a manual where you got to uh, wind it yourself. That will uh, a lot better casting for you. And uh, the thing about these guys, they'll have a lot of backlashes. If you don't put your thumb on the spool, as soon as it hits the water, you got to uh, put your thumb on the spool or it will bird's nest and roll over itself. And that's a pain to get out. Especially, trust me, I've worked 30 minutes trying to get out one backlash. Okay, on to the next reel. This is a Pen 750. This is my premier uh, surf reel of choice. I'm going to do another one about sharking reels. And uh, that one will be strictly sharking reels. Not This is just surf reels for surf species, not any for only sharks under six feet, this thing, and these two will catch. But it's, mo it's only for surf species, not sharks. Uh, and not really even stingrays. Stingrays occasionally, but not even stingrays. These are, this is just a video for surf fishing reels. The thing about spinning reels such as this, some people call them spin casters, that's not, I don't call them spin casters, I call them spinning reels. Um, they have a lot less backlashes. Sometimes you can cast just as far, 100, 150 yards, with this reel I've casted 150 yards before. Longer than I've ever casted this one or this one, as my longest cast was with a spinning reel. And uh, they're really good for especially just uh, casting at night. Uh, they make them very, very forgiving when casting at night. You can use them off jetties and piers and beaches. 
pretty much for a new fisherman, I would recommend getting a spinning reel. I would not recommend any new fisherman to get a bait casting reel. They will lose miserably, and uh, they probably won't catch a single fish. After you work for about a year with a spinning reel, then I would recommend working on bait casting. Get the technique down with a spinning reel, and then you'll have it all. I, the guys in Montauk do not use bait casters on lures when they're working lures because you can cast a lot lighter lures with a spinning reel. I've casted one ounce, one ounce with this, just one single ounce all the way up to five to six ounces, all the way up to even eight. And uh, four ounces, about the minimum for bait casters, I would really prefer for surf reels. Um, if you use really light, uh, uh, light lures and light weights, when you cast them, they're just going to hit the ground right in front of you, and then your reel's going to overrun before you can do anything about it. Um, so the thing is, the cons about a bait caster, you'll get backlashes. You will, Trust me, there's not a single uh, bait casting fisherman that's never had a backlash. Trust me, they everybody's ha will have a backlash sooner or later if you're using bait casters. So just admit it now, and don't lie to me, because I know you've had <laughs> backlashes. Everybody gets them. The thing is, they can cast a country mile when you do it, when you do it right, but you got backlashes, and a lot of times they, on smaller reels, uh, the handles, the drags are not nearly as uh, tight. They're not nearly as strong as a spinning reel would. They a lot of times they won't have ergonomic handles. Some reels do. Um, they do not have the big power crank handles either. The thing is, is that with uh, bait casters this small. This one holds a lot more line than this reel. It can cast farther and it holds more line. You can go as big as you want with a spinning reel and you'll never have a problem with casting. It will be just really, really heavy. You'll never have a backlash. You use too big of a uh, bait casting reel and you just can't cast it. It's not like you can go out there and cast a 50 wide Tiagra. It's just not possible. A 113 uh, Penn Senator, you can cast that 75 yards on a good day. The thing is, is that these guys, they'll, you got to pick your sizes perfectly. Spinning reels go as big as you want. You just got to have a rod to match. Um, these guys, uh, when they get really, really big, they really can't cast as far. The big Fenor OFS 9500 holds 600 yards of 20-pound mono. That thing can't cast nearly as far as a bait caster could. Um, so... Really, you know, I'm totally neutral on this subject. I'll I use spinning reels for different things. I use bait casters for different things. I've caught big fish on both of them. So uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you.